Hey, what's up? So I was watching Prophet of Zod, uh, All Praise Zod, and <laughs> he, uh, he's got a video titled, Who Are You to Question God? Dumb Things People Say to Atheists, Part 4. So far it's received one thumbs down because obviously somebody doesn't understand. But then again, I haven't refreshed it at all. So I, you know what? I'm going to do that right now, though you can't see it. I'm just curious. Let me go ahead and try to pause this. Uh, or at least mute it. It still has got one. But in going on such a question, you know, it's like they say, you know, who are you to question God? At first, I'm going to read my comment on his, his channel. And it'd be nice if he read it and commented on it. But, um, you know, I said I had many smart remark comebacks for the title of this video. But after listening to about three minutes, I realized something. The question, who are you to question God? is not simply a blockade for believers, but it devalues the person before them. In comparative form, considering religious people claim all God's creatures are equal, it spits in the face of their own claim. And if you understand that, then great. If you don't, then let me just kind of slightly and subtly expound upon this. What needs to happen is people need to understand when you initially ask who are you to question God yeah you're trying to blockade all this and that and you're trying to shut the conversation down but when you think about that you if you actually think about it you're basically saying how important are you to question my belief in what I think God is and it's and to say that you know like you're basically saying you're not important enough and it's rhetorical when you say who are you to question it's rhetorical. And for me, if someone had asked me more recently, I would say within, honestly, the past 10 years or so, who are you to question God? I would say, I'm Cedric Kennedy. That's who I am. Now, what would they probably say to that? So who are you? Who is Cedric Kennedy? My first thought would be the person standing in front of you, fool. Who do you think? That'd be my first thought. I'm Cedric Kennedy. I'm standing in front of you. I am tangible. My voice can be heard. My thoughts can be expressed. My emotions can pretty much be seen as I wear them on my sleeve. That's who I am. So I have every ability to question someone that's so powerful that they're scared to show their face. I'm just wanting to point out something. If God is so all-powerful and, and, and whatnot, he doesn't want to show his face. Think about President Trump. He's a complete idiot, a narcissistic idiot doing a lot of terrible things and trying to tell everyone that is good for them. But yet you see him. You know he exists. You cannot deny him. You can't. His existence is obvious. So it's not about importance. Not so much. It's about your fear, your fear of possibly knowing that what you believe in isn't something to believe in and you think you give up all hope. But no, it's not giving up hope. It's accepting reality. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.